Wanna be a boss? Let's talk business. Let's talk fashion. Let's talk health, fitness, community, lifestyle, and finance. With Boss Up Houston, Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. It's Boss Up Houston, where we look up, stay up, and boss up. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Shamir Bacon Destin, baby. And I have the bosses in the building with me. I have Miss Sabrina Golden in the building. Hello. Yes, I have Miss Jay Williams hey, hey. in the building. And my bestie, my Roxy Gavin. <laughs> the OG, honey, is hey. in the building. Y'all know how we do. This is Boss of Houston Talk Show. We do this every Saturday morning at 10 a.m., Right here on the Boss of Houston Network. You can catch us on all social media avenues, YouTube, and on the audio waves as well. Pandora, iHeart, Spotify, wherever you want to listen, honey, we're there. Just log in, Boss of Houston Network. Yes. yes. <laughs> Y'all know we are bossing up. And today we're talking about moving on. You gotta do it. Mm. Man, moving on. That's this is a heavy subject, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it it has so many components because you can move on in relationship, you can move on in friendship, mm -hmm. you can move on in business. Exactly. Okay. You can just move on with your like with yourself to the next level of yourself. Exactly. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Um self-love is Important. something major, you guys. Yes. And it, it allows you to evaluate all of your situationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hashtag situationships. Okay. <laughs> hashtag moving on. <laughs> we are talking about moving on. Um, give us a situation where you had to move on, Sabrina. <laughs> oh, it's not a situation. <laughs> I had to move on. Uh, let's say in dating. Mm. Um. Sometimes you just have to move on, whether it's a situation that is harmful or um, things that maybe you just don't think, hey, we're not just going to work. You know, you just have to move on no matter how much, how good it was or mm -hmm. how bad it was. You know, you have to determine for yourself what, how it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Is it more good than bad? Um, and then sometimes... Is more good, and you still have to move you on. Still, because, ah, you know, just a couple situations, you know. Yes, and uh, that's as far as dating. That's my thing. Is like I, I move on very quickly. <laughs> Come on, move on, <laughs> queen. I move on very quickly. Uh, it's, it's people in line waiting. Yes, honey. To try. Now listen, I used to be the move on queen, honey. <laughs> Forget you, forgot you, never thought about you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Babe, I used to move on with the quicks. What'd you do? Oh, moving on. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. What'd you say? Oh, moving on. Sometimes it's not as easy. That's true. Sometimes when it's you get true. connected to people, especially when sex is involved. Mm. You, know, you open up yourself. Come in on. That way. Bring it to us. And you turn it on and you try to pull yourself from that. You remember? I mean, it's it's that's what I, the, it's a science to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you are intimate with someone, breaking those ties are harder and harder and harder. So right. Get your healing. Don't just move on and Ooh. go to the next one. But it's you need ties. to heal. Mm -hmm. Soul ties are it's very right. serious. Soul like, ties yeah. are serious. Very serious. That's why you know you try to do what Steve Harvey said: the ninety-day thing. Like, mm -hmm. Just detox. Don't do anything. Yeah. Get to know each other for the ninety days. Yeah. And if a person thinks that you're worth it, they'll wait. Mm -hmm. right? Ninety but days is not that long. It goes really by not. really quick. It's, not. Mm -hmm. it's really not. Well, what about with like your career? You know, say you're in a job that you really hate mm -hmm. and you just can't do it. It's maybe it's a, an abusive situation or discriminatory situation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to say, you know what, I can't do this anymore and move on and then deal with it after instead of mm -hmm. just sitting in the abusive situation. Right. right? right. I've done that before. I'm yeah. not a quitter, but yeah. there's only so much a person should have to take. Exactly. And you just yeah. got to move on. And I think, you know, prayer is is a great component um, in in life in general, mm -hmm. but especially about your moves. Yes. Right? Um, sure. You know, just, uh, or meditation, you right. know, just 
a come to Jesus moment with yourself, right. you know, or or a um, a healing moment within yourself to say, okay, I'm in a level headed place mm -hmm. and I can make sound decisions. Absolutely. Don't make those rational uh, emotion based decisions. True. Um, sometimes those in in disaster. That's mm -hmm. true. That's yeah. true. Because like even the job that I worked at, like going to the office. I would get hit on all the time. Like, well, what's the chances of me and you? Nothing. You <laughs> okay, stop. About a bean. Don't do it. About a bean. You know, and then <laughs> I w it was getting to where I was just getting like really just, I was kind of scared. Like, yeah. mm, I'm in by myself. Intimidated. You know, mm -hmm. so luckily, you know, I prayed about it. God moved to me to where I stay at home now. Yeah. What a blessing. And I don't have to deal with any of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's, just, that's just, great. Just to kind of clarify what I said. You do have to prepare yourself. Don't just be quitting your job and that's exactly. how don't, I'm don't, just saying. Don't just quit. No, don't just, so don't just have a backup plan. Because, I mean, unless you just literally have no other option because human resources is my background. And so mm -hmm. I'm always thinking about making sure the documentation is there. Make sure you let those that need to know know. In, right. In the event you need to, you know, move in a legal situation. But sometimes you have to just make the leap depending on the situation and, and make sure that you're prepared though. Right. Yeah. Set those goals and make sure you're prepared. Yes, and in work situations, documentation, Document, uh, recording, yes, yes. is very, very necessary and important. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the best thing about professionalism. Um, I, I recently had a situation to where uh, one of our clients just emailed me something, um, but it was like a long list of things that I had never... No, I never knew that they were an issue. And mm -hmm. so it, when the issue first occurs, you know, reach out to um, the the management of whatever situation it is so that they can correct it. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until things just pile up, pile up, pile up, pile right, up, right, right, right. and then you're not giving them a chance to correct it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have the right to uh, cut ties or whatever, and they have a right as well. This this is a at will country, honey. Yes. <laughs> but Texas for sure is at will, okay? Mm -hmm. And boss up Houston, honey, it's is at will. will. <laughs> Trust. Okay. Uh -huh. so if, we, if we moving on, honey, we moving on. And Everybody's bossing up. Do what they gotta do. They gotta <laughs> have the peace. Yes. And 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 that's that's what it's about. Um, you know, in a relationship, in in on a good term, in on a good note. Even if you have a discrepancy, it's more like, you know, hey, I this is just not working for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I wish you the best of luck in all of your endeavors. Uh, which I, I don't think that I have a a bad relationship with any of our clients. Like at the end of the day, it's a at will. Mm -hmm. We can choose to, and you can choose to. Mm -hmm. So yeah. choose to. Okay. And move on. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to a quick commercial break. Y'all know how we do this as well. So if you stay and we'll see you in a minute. Events and Adventures knows how to make the most of being single. Get social, in person, try new things, and just have fun. Join Events and Adventures. We've been doing the single life right for over 30 years. 30 great events every month. Just visit eventsandadventures.com. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Ask how to get 300 megabytes per second for $35 per month plus taxes and equipment fee with no annual contract, no bundle required, unlimited internet data included. Call Boss Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. versus a spectrum at cost, 400 m, 500 m, 600 m, 1 gig and 1.2 gig cable service with uploads of 10, 20, and 35 megabytes per second. Now max simply 940 megabytes per second for internet of 1,000 speeds, very not guaranteed. All right, all right. <laughs> this is Boss Up Houston Talk Show. Y'all know how we do. I'm your host, Shamir Bacon. Destin, baby. And I have the bosses in the building with me. Y'all got to catch this behind the scenes. Uh, <laughs> you only do. It's fun on sets, okay? I have the wonderful Miss J. Williams. Hey. And Miss Sabrina Golden Hello. and Roxy Galvan in the building, honey. And we are talking about moving on, okay? So I'm going to hit y'all with the business one-on-one. -on -one. You know, uh, I give y'all the business, okay, <laughs> every Saturday. So we're going to talk about uh, three things that you should be <laughs> bossing up on in your business. So in business, you should always get used to know, okay? Mm -hmm. For every five uh, clients, 
you should get used to three no's and maybe two yeses. Mm -hmm. Or you can even say four to one. Mm -hmm. Okay? And one maybe. One maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> like, just get used to no. No is just, you know, a person's choice. Again, there we go. And then guess what? Move on to the next. Yes. Because yes. it's always, uh, I say this, you know, y'all know that uh, phrase about, um, every 15 minutes, the next one coming or something. They were really talking about buses, but I'm talking about clients. Okay. Um, you can find another client, honey, in the next five seconds. Sure and guess what? They're going to come with a yes, with their money, and with a signature on their contract. No problem to pay you. Hello. Exactly. And then think about it. The no is better. So um, the next is it's better that it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes those clients that are um, hard to work with or difficult mm -hmm. or extra. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of those extra clients. I have to say that. Okay. <laughs> I'm very extra. But guess what? I will compensate for my extraness. Right. Some people don't even do that. You yeah. know, some people are just problem clients. And if that is the case, you know, you have to choose Absolutely. your exit. Right. You know, exactly. you have to choose when that needs to end. Like I said earlier, it's at will. Mm -hmm. Okay? At will. At any given moment. Like any given Sunday, honey. Exactly. The $100 okay. clients be like having so many problems when the $500 clients is just like no, so easy. It's yeah. so easy. And it's yeah. like, baby, walk out the There's the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Take your honey. <laughs> exactly. Last but not least, it's new business, new goals. So just think about it that way. Every new client, you can reach new goals. Guess what? If I have 20 clients and then I get a new client that's mm -hmm. 21, then I can reach my goals quicker, mm -hmm. right? right? So new business, new goals. And that's your business one-on-one. Y'all better catch it. Boss on up. All right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're moving on in relationships. Uh-oh. Y'all know. Uh -oh. Y'all know we hit on the relationship thing. Now, let me tell you something about moving on. <laughs> Miss Queen. No, no moving in. Babe, listen. Okay, I had a whole conversation with the guy. This was before husband. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we had a whole conversation. And after that conversation, it was no more. But I knew that was our last conversation. It was it. Mm -hmm. It was a wrap. Okay. No phone call. I... I, I think I even blocked him on like mm -hmm. everything because it was just like a ridiculous conversation. I'm like, well, first of all, why are we going back and forth? Mm -hmm. Second of all, uh, why did I just waste my energy? Mm -hmm. Third of all, again, forget you, forgot you, never thought about <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. So, you know, moving on is good for me. Here's the thing though. Like you said, it's sometimes it's hard. So let it sink in. Yes. Yeah. What about sinking in? Like, let it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm done. Like, and and don't go back. Yeah. Well, it's almost like well, the seven stages like, of grief, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially if it was a long term situation, it is hard to let go. Exactly. Or, or and you may turn around and go back sometimes, but when you finally decide that it's you're done, you got to give yourself a chance to process mm -hmm. and get over. Right. Really think about the situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, analyze it and make a decision from there like if you are really done be done yeah, yeah. Be done. because you're done for a reason mm -hmm. because if the relationship was good you wouldn't be like i'm done i'm done that's yeah true. That's true. you know if everything that's is true. perfect you know well, you wouldn't be i will I'm, i'll just be and, done and then don't don't let them sweet talk you back yeah. that's the thing they sweet talk it's you toxic. back yeah. <laughs> okay so this stuff happens right and mm -hmm. we make we make decisions and sometimes we make mistakes, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, or they come back and they sweet talk us, and you know, like they I was do. saying, there's I'm a sucker. yeah, there was there's the sex there, so it kind of has phone. a little tie, right? <laughs> and so you go back and you realize that you made a mistake, okay? And you're saying, okay, what is my worth, okay? Is mm -hmm. this what I yeah. want? It's okay to make mistakes, right? Yes. Yeah, it's because you learn from those mistakes and just try your as hard as it may be. Mm -hmm. You have to keep your eye on the prize. You have to keep your eye on what is it that I really want. Mm -hmm. What is it that I'm? What is my goal here? Mm -hmm. Right. And this man is not this man or that woman is not meeting my goal. Mm -hmm. So keep on 
looking and not settling. That's Don't it. settle for uh, just what good. you got right now. What looks good, feels good, smells good, mm. all that. You know, I'm all about to smell. Good. Good. It's really good. Honestly, know that that is not good for you. Right. Nine times out of ten, you know it's not. Yeah. yeah. So what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> if it's causing you so much pain and hurt, I don't yeah. know. Be done. Yeah. Yeah. Be done. But it don't I, always cause a whole lot of pain, though. Because yeah. I had a mixture of both. I was like, oh, um, that felt good. Oh. Oh, that felt good though. Kind of outweighs. So yeah. you have to you have to do what you know is like you have to broaden your 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 perspective look and mm -hmm. see what is it like what is more important to me. Right, and that's the thing. Uh, letting it sink in is okay when you make the decision to say it's over. Mm -hmm. Let that be the mm -hmm. situation for a minute. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then even if you say okay, thirty days. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I'm done 30 days and then if you want to reevaluate the situation or if you think that that situation was better for you at that time you've let it sink in a lot of times we make decisions on our emotions mm -hmm. and at the time if a situation arises you're feeling all of this stuff so you're saying things you don't mean you're thinking things that ain't even happen you know it's it's all these uh, a roller coaster of emotion. Mm -hmm. Um, that don't even really mean anything, you know, after the time has passed, you're thinking, ah, oh, you know, I really do love this person or we could really make this thing work, you know? And that's me. I'm like yeah. a big roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, you know, no, it, it, and it starts in your head mm -hmm. because I'm a thinker and, and the last guy that I dated, he knew when I was in my head, he's like, you're in your head. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me think about this a little better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a ball of emotion because I'll be like, I love him, but he wants this. Mm -hmm. I love him, but I don't think I like that. Yeah, you know. And I, I go back and forth in my head, and I'll be like, No, he's not the right one. You know, I, I convince myself, and I have to change my mindset mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, because I I really need to just let it flow. Mm -hmm. let yeah, it flow. organically. Yeah, yeah I, I think letting it flow is is a great thing. Um, also allow yourself to feel those emotions yeah. in that moment. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, even with arguments, right? Um, you're you're talking at each other. You're not really listening to each other, mm -hmm. and it happens that way in emotional conversations or if you're hurt. Um, so give yourself time to process. Uh, what just happened and then have a conversation sometimes the conversation the next day is the best thing you mm -hmm. can do for yourself mm -hmm. and for that person um, you know just just letting it sink in honey mm -hmm. let it sink in let's say that you moved on okay and you're able to you're you get to a place to where you're lonely mm -hmm. I got to that place I was like I was lonely mm -hmm. I, I really wanted the touch and the smell mm -hmm. and the feeling and all that good stuff um, I had a moment in church where I was like, Lord, I need to feel your love mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And I remember like just tears were falling down my face. I felt his embrace. I felt the warmth on the inside of me. So you're, yes, God doesn't want us to be alone, but there are periods in our life, I feel, where being alone and with yourself mm -hmm. is the best thing for you. So enjoy right. it. Embrace yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Learn you. Be you. Have fun. Yeah, because, um, you know, learning yourself is also the best thing for your partner or exactly. for a person that you're going into a relationship with. Because let me face it, if you don't know what you want, mm -hmm. how, how do you expect? And th that's the problem with us, right? Yes. We expect people to either read our minds yes. or know what we want. Yes. And it's no, you have to communicate that. You have to say, hey, I don't like that. When you say this and you know what? I've never been in therapy. <laughs> Actually, I want to say this. I am um, thinking about going back to school so I can get licensed for therapy um, to be a licensed therapist mm -hmm. because I feel like I feel like I'm always giving out advice and therapy to people or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've never been in therapy, but I've learned how to self cope, mm -hmm. and I've uh, gotten better in my relationships, mm -hmm. in my communication, even just with my attitude. Y'all, I used to be horrible. I used to be like. I don't care. It don't matter. Shamir's world. <laughs> Boom. Period. Okay. You're a child. It's well, always been about hey. just you. Hey. Yeah. I'm and just it's saying. Because like I'm the only child, but I don't do that. 
Mm-hmm. Really? I really don't. Bad will never take me in my world. world. I mean, but I am a, I am spoiled. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little spoiled. <laughs> I'm not like. I'm spoiled. I used to be selfish. I didn't care. Like it didn't matter. You you coming up in here? I'm the queen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk to me? <laughs> It's a privilege. Okay. <laughs> Bow down, honey. <laughs> mm-hmm. And my friend says, if you don't want to my feet, I don't want to. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> wow. I saw myself sitting on the um on that on the thing with them feeding me grapes and stuff. I'm like, oh, yes. That's me. She's the queen. Yeah. Oh my God. No, but like I I'm we're joke we're joking, but I'm so serious. Like it's, I used to didn't care yeah. about nobody's feelings, you know. Wow. But 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 I was conscious. Mm-hmm. I'm aware. Yeah. I'm aware that I do that. Mm-hmm. I'm aware. <laughs> you know, it sounds okay. like, okay, uh, if I want people to like me. <laughs> were, you, were, were you in a position where you I did? I got to myself. Of course they're going to like me, right? Or well, like, it I was, don't care if they like me. I was in a position where I didn't care, girl. Like, oh. I will walk into a room and be like, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. Queen is here. <sighs> Yes, she is. So, um, she's always been the queen. No, I've known her since she was four years old. But she's always been this way. It's crazy. She wore the crown there. It's okay. crazy though because I love to mm-hmm. give and yeah. I love to help people, mm-hmm. but it's still like you know, mm-hmm. got these boundaries, you yes. know. But okay, anyway, going yeah. back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, th- knowing yourself mm-hmm. and um, acknowledging. Yes. Acknowledging is number acknowledging even in that twelve step program. Okay, when you're going through a drug uh, re- rehabilitation, so this is rehabilitation for your life, mm-hmm. rehabilitation for yourself. In in those twelve steps, the first thing is acknowledging. Yes, exactly. I have a problem. Mm-hmm. I have a issue. This is what I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and if you start seeing trends. And, and you have to be true to yourself, right? So, at one point, I was like, okay, I am a strong woman. Um, I'm very independent. Um, if I want a man to come in and be a man, I have to allow him that. Yeah. I remember I was telling y'all, opening my door. It was like, I can open my own door. Mm-hmm. You know, sitting down in a chair. I don't need you to pull out my chair. You know, and then I had to realize, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. If I... If I want a man to come in my life, mm-hmm. have I have to let him. let him be the man that... And then another thing, if you're asking or if you're wanting things in your life, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have to allow those things to happen. Mm-hmm. You have to allow space. You have to get them, oh, feeling good, people. That, out. Yeah, mm-hmm. out. You have to give that space. You know what? There was one point in time, and I'm, I know I'm getting a little extra. This is one point in time where um, I had like some clothes and stuff. I would have stuff on the other side of the bed, mm-hmm. okay? And I would just sleep on this one side because it's just one of me, right? Nobody else sleeping on that side. Come on, so one of me. Put, but you know, <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, you know, how am I going to allow, you know, a, a man into my in life here. into my bed if I have this? stuff? I was like, you know what? This all this stuff is going. So I move it, and even though Ooh, I'm the crazy. only one who sleeps in my you bed, gotta prepare. Well, I make I leave manifest. that space. Yeah. Yeah. I leave yes. that space in my closet. Come on, manifestation. Leave, my side is pillows. Yeah. 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 My yeah. side is pillows. I'd be like, hey, bud. Uh-huh. <laughs> I leave that space for them. Keep preparing. Mm-hmm. I like that. You. you know what? And before we were talking about changing your mindset, now we're talking about moving on. Mm-hmm. You know, And so in order to even move on from a um uh self relationship because when you're by yourself you're in a relationship with yourself mm-hmm. learn yourself and uh, that is acknowledging you acknowledge that if I want something to happen mm-hmm. if I want this to happen I have to be prepared get prepared be ready for that mm-hmm. all right so vent to the right people now you know you can't mm-hmm. be talking your business to every- baby everybody wants the tea okay mm-hmm. But but everybody can't sip the tea. No, okay, right. you can't give everybody your whole life. Mm-mm. You gotta vent to the right people, people that genuinely care about you, yes. and people that will give good, sound advice. Mm-hmm. These people that's out here ain't in a relationship and then say, "Girl, don't do that, don't take that." Right. Th- they're not even in a relationship, honey. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so you have to listen to people that give you sound advice and that genuinely care about you. Yes, you know so that will say, you know, well maybe you shouldn't have done that, boo. Mm-hmm. 
you know, you know, maybe you should do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember the the old school, like my grandmother and them, they used to sit around. They used to get the young, the young girl at the table and be like, now your husband. (laughs) Oh, yes. Mm, He looking a little frail over there. You cooking? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right? You know? (laughs) You know, um, you know, and, and here's another thing about vending to the right people. Mm-hmm. Okay, S- somebody always want to take your place, honey. Mm. Always, and yeah. and you treating that man a certain way, yeah. and then you got people in your circle that want to be you. Mm. Want to take your place? Y'all better watch it. Mm. Vent watch. to the right people. Um, this is all in cahoots with moving on, though. Yes. Um, because you know, the people um, in your ear will help you move on. Fast, yeah, honey. yeah, they will. Mm-hmm. And and again, get great friends yeah. with um get and you want people with both sides healthy relationships in marriage and healthy relationships being single yes yeah. you know um when i was single i had a lot of friends mm-hmm. uh i still have male friends to this day mm-hmm. that we just respect each other in that that manner and um you know those are healthy relationships mm-hmm. vent to the right people don't do social media drama. Oh, my oh gosh, I hate that. Do y'all hear these Twitter wars? <laughs> oh, <laughs> All this Lord. social media drama, baby. Have they have people love reading it too. Talk oh my about, god, Did you read that? it's drama, drama, drama. And then they get Don't mad when somebody media. has a comment. Sometimes, but it you is put really it out there. Juicy, mm-hmm. and I like reading it. I, do I ain't too. gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I do too. <laughs> we we like drama. Mm-hmm. We drama driven people. So we like right, drama. That's right. why y'all like reality TV. Yeah, that right? is. That is. But leave that to the celebrities, honey. Yes, Don't put your business in the streets, mm-hmm. especially if you um are going to go into some type of spiral, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes those things because. Social media, you millions of people, millions of people can comment, say things. I saw some, uh, you know, mom shaming, uh, relationship shaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I remember I posted this one day, and when I post, I don't post for people's reaction or comment. It's right. something that that's my venting. Mm-hmm. You know, if I want to say something, I'm gonna say something. Mm-hmm. And um, but I also have to understand that other people have a right mm-hmm. to comment. You know, unless you turn off their comments. Mm-hmm. So I start turning <laughs> off comments because I don't I, I care she less right. about uh this was that was for me to put out there Not or whatever. Yeah, it wasn't for your comment. Mm-hmm. But I remember, you know, I was like, uh most men I said something about most men do this or whatever. So that was like, considering you date most men. Uh, I was like, really? But oh. but first of all, that's the whole point. That was that was my whole point. Is that men directly go into a defensive mode mm-hmm. when someone is um, making a comment or bringing something to their attention. Right. Mm-hmm. They immediately go into... Oh my God! I'm not, uh, you know, the defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I think people in general do that, mm-hmm. but mainly men because it's more like I'm the man. I have to be masculine, mm-hmm. and I have to be a man in this situation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, and it's like don't degrade women. You don't have to degrade a person to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know. Yeah. Don't do the social media drama, though, you guys, with your relationships. We're moving on. Just move on. Yeah. It's no reason to put people in your uh, business like that. Mm-hmm. Don't do the social media drama. All right. So, we've all talked about the give yourself time to heal. Yes. yes. Okay. You have to. Give yourself that time to heal. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, carrying that baggage to the next relationship and the next relationship and the next relationship um, is not a good thing. Mm-mm. You know, after my divorce, I, you know going through the traumas you have ptsd a lot Mm. of people have ptsd Mm -hmm. and just don't call it that but i knew i had it and i knew i needed help because it was deep down rooted deep down because i'm the type of person if something happens to me and i'm such a forgiving person i want to keep everybody happy i keep it happy but then i'm still hurting the inside Mm. and so a lot of that stuff i push behind my head like don't even think about it, you know, so you can just be happy. And so I knew I needed help in that area. And so after my divorce, I went to um, a retreat for women. Mm-hmm. And it's called Bear. Be authentic, 
real and exposed mm. and really it's it's about exposing things deep rooted within you mm -hmm. and so it was a time of purging mm. everybody needs a time to purge mm -hmm. get those dead leaves off of you yes and so that was a big healing for me mm -hmm. because a lot of things that i pushed back i was like dang is rooted from here mm. and so you know you come to realization and you need that prayer and that prayer warrior to to pray over mm -hmm. you to get that stuff off mm -hmm. yes you come out of that retreat like like a weight Ooh, relief mm -hmm. yes it's like and then yes you go back into the world and it you know comes, you know you go back to your normal routine mm -hmm. and it comes back but you have that in your head that hey I got people praying for me. Mm -hmm. um, let me pray about this when it comes, rises back up. And, you know, you keep moving. But it, it's, it's very, very important to take time to heal and mm -hmm. get, get to those deep-rooted places in your life. But sometimes we're dealing with things that we don't even realize. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we're carrying things that we don't even realize that we're carrying. Mm -hmm. um, I remember one time I was very, this was in, in my transition from, you know, um, the divorce to, you know, new relationships. I was just angry. I was just mad. I was mad. I was just mad at everything. Mad at it. it the water could be running um, for five minutes. It was like, why is the water running? <laughs> you know, like, what is that? Why am I? And then I start realizing, like, what am I mad about? You know, and it's just things that, you know, yeah, you, you, carry, yeah. it, you carry with you. But I, I'm going to tell you what it was. Um, there was a, a deep-rooted argument mm -hmm. about washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why I didn't want that water to run. Mm -hmm. It was wow. a trigger. It, I was like, don't let the water run. Make sure that... And, 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 my, and, and you affect your children, your yes, family. You yes, you so um, my kids was looking like, girl, why are you... <laughs> like, what is going on? We just cut on the water, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, I realized this later on, you know, when I was doing some self-healing. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that wake-up moment. A mere epiphany. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's that yeah. epiphany moment when you be like, okay, I really got to do some detoxing. Yeah. I really got to do some self-healing. Because yes. I remember it brought me back. And I was like, oh, my God. And I can remember it like it was happening. Wow. Mm -hmm. And wow. yes, wow. and so sometimes when I get upset at a situation, I can remember like I'm I feel like I'm in that moment. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a trigger. Yeah. It I, I do have a therapist that I see every two weeks and I'm thankful for her, but those triggers are real. Mm -hmm. Especially in the unpacking phase of any kind of trauma you've experienced, whether it's divorce or challenges with your kids or whatever the case may be, it's it, it's a real thing and that you recognize it. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. and that's what getting to the point where, like what you just said, where you recognize it and you can identify it and change the 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 whole direction in which you were going initially. Mm -hmm. Because if you do go off, well, I mean, you're not helping any anything. You're right. actually taking yourself back, back, but, back to that space. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. need to know so where, it's where it's derived like, from. Yes, yes. yes. You need to know where it's derived. The unpacking phase. Mm -hmm. Unpacking. Yes, it's important. Ah. <laughs> all right y'all so give yourself time to heal yes. look we're gonna go to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with moving on yes <laughs> oh my god i just got through watching a great show on boss up houston network have you heard they're bossing up okay and i heard they're looking for you any podcasters talk show host, if you're a writer or producer, we definitely need you. Come aboard and boss up. Our topic today is what's your status? Hello fam, Ken Mills here once again. And here at Boss Up, we like to help small business owners and entrepreneurs advertise, promote, or become a sponsor for one of our television, podcasts, or radio shows. All you have to do is click the link down below to see if you qualify. 
This is Boss Up Houston, where we look up, stay up, and boss up. We're gonna be kings, T. Maridate is for committed couples that are either engaged or married and would like to keep the dating in their marriage, fight for the family, and lower the divorce rate one couple at a time. We plan 30 to 50 events a month that include workshops, seminars, webinars, experts, and events all around town. This is for couples that want to develop friendships with other like-minded couples that take their marriage and vows seriously. We will also be offering premarital help so that you will not be a statistic. Would you and your partner like to take international vacations together with other couples and at group rates? When you are home, you will learn your city as you go to each new event. Your membership includes all of our locations. We take the guesswork out of creating, having, and keeping a strong marriage. Contact us today. All right, all right, we are back, and this is Boss Up Houston Talk Show. Y'all know how we do. We do this every Saturday at 10 a.m. I have the bosses in the building with me. I have Miss Roxy Galvin, Miss Jay Williams, Miss Sabrina Golden, and you know, Miss Megan Destin, baby. <laughs> we're in the building. We're sitting at the boss's table. Y'all know how we do, and we're talking about moving on. When we left before the break, we were talking about moving on in relationships. And y'all know, listen, this behind-the-scenes conversation, y'all going to have to get on the, on the behind-the-scenes, honey, because <laughs> behind-the-scenes, you know, we get into some real deep conversation. And then we bring it back to you, you know. <laughs> but it's just not the same. <laughs> refined, <laughs> refined, honey. Boss it up. Um, so, Sabrina, I know you were talking about the pruning. Yes. And, um, you know, the pruning and everything. So, give us a little bit more about... Um, um, how you deal with that and coping and what people should do so the number one thing is get rid of the distractions get time to yourself send the kids to the babysitters or mom auntie whatever nanny roxy yes <laughs> that part hold on so, <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on send them to nanny roxy <laughs> you can work out that <laughs> but um yeah get rid of distractions turn your phone off Get into your prayer closet, get into a quiet spot wherever you can, and no TVs, nothing, mm -hmm. and just listen and pray. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that is where, because if you have distractions, you're not going to be able to hear what is trying, what he's trying to tell you. Yes. So, my thing is get rid of distractions because that's very important for you to prove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. And sometimes uh, distractions, like social media, I find, like, I literally have to say, okay, I'm not doing social media mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. within this time frame, this time frame. Mm -hmm. Even with working, it's like social media is a, a big distraction. I find myself on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I can be on TikTok piece. like a whole hour and a half. Like yeah. just going through the, the, the footage is crazy. And I'm like, what is yes. happening right now? So, you know, those distractions are big and major. Very. Um uh for me prayer is very 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 important um and just like i was telling you guys about um you take on the feelings and you take on uh the heaviness of others when they pour out what they have on you that you so that you can help them you take that on you know um as a minister and um uh, counselor, you have to stay up yeah, you minister, have to counselor, counselor. therapist. Yes, yes, because um, so much of that weight is on you, you know, and mm -hmm. you don't realize you don't realize how much you take on, how much weight you have, and so it's important. Um, I have a prayer closet. I call it my war room, <laughs> where you know I I put those things in the atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, success and. Uh, people's names and mm -hmm. situations you know um mm -hmm. i even pray for the world in general because mm -hmm. it's just you know the world is just crazy now yes. yes and um i was talking to a young lady the other day and she was like oh my god my 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 world is just spiraling out of control and i'm like oh my god 
honey, you're so young. It's mm -hmm. it's like you don't even you haven't even experienced the world, you <laughs> the know, for you for control. it to be spiraling right. out. But I understand that she's going through whatever she's going through. Mm -hmm. And what I told her was everybody goes through something. Mm -hmm. And even at this moment, there are millions of people going through something right now as you are going through. Mm -hmm. And you just have to think positively mm -hmm. and know that this too shall pass. Yes. Right? It will. It will there pass. There is light on the other side. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so um, we were talking about suicide and things of that nature. Um, actually, Amber Neal's uh, sister... Mm -hmm. You know, um, we just had that situation with her sister. She just passed away um, due to suicide. And so many people have these issues eternally. Mm -hmm. um, and some even openly. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's important for you to get help. So if you're thinking about or if you have any type of situation or if you have um, things that you're thinking about, it. if every day is like, uh, oh my God, it's it's the end of the world day, mm -hmm. you probably need to seek help and yes. think and talk to someone yes. through whatever you're going through and 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 get the help you need mm -hmm. um, because definitely we we want to shy away from um, self inflicting pain right. and that can be toxic relationships, you guys. Toxic relationships is a form of uh, pain and and self-hurt mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's self-inflicting sometimes you can be toxic to yourself yes. right all right so um definitely stay away from that all right so moving on we are <laughs> we are moving on moving on from those uh toxic situations yes. moving on in relationships moving on in business um just moving on in general uh we want we hope that this has helped you in some type of situation uh, that if you are dealing with or going through, uh, definitely reach out to any one of us if you need any more advice or if you want to talk further. Uh, we're definitely available. So, Sabrina, what you got coming up? So, on Golden Opportunities today, you know what I rock. <laughs> Camario. Mm My designer, Camario Chris, has me slain everywhere I go. I'm telling you from casual wear, vacation wear, photo shoots, red carpets, you name it. She has me slain, okay? Everybody wants my outfits and it's all thanks to her. So check out some of the stuff that she's got me.
know, right? She had me slain. Okay, guys, if you want to hit her up, hit her up at Camario Chris on Facebook or Camario on Instagram. And until next time, I'll see you later. This is your girl, Sabrina Golden with Golden Opportunities. <laughs> all right all right and you guys we have evo the evolution of a woman our book is out uh you can reach out to any one of your favorite housewife and go to our um distinctive pages and click on our links to purchase directly from us evo the evolution of a woman and that is from the real housewives of houston where success is the reality y'all know how we do we do this every saturday at 10 a.m this is boss up houston talk show i'm your host shamir bacon dustin baby jay williams sabrina golden roxy galvan boss up houston where we look up stay up and boss up Be a boss. Let's talk business. Let's talk fashion. Let's talk health, fitness, community, lifestyle, and finance with Boss Up Houston. Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. It's Boss Up Houston, where we look up, stay up, and boss up. <laughs>